<laughs> we're really doing this, huh? Doing we're, what? We're really recording podcast. Yeah, what else would we be doing? Mm. You thought we were just sitting on a chair? Mm. You th- mm. I, I, just, mm. I just love that you thought we were sitting mm. on a chair. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? What? You really thought we were sitting on a chair with a microphone in front of us really with headphones on it. with cameras you with the today, sentence and after I... Right. She was show, showed that I don't care. Wow. I so think what's happening in the world right now? Any news? Not Anything crazy. Um, something. I, nothing. No, I, I think it's time for you to surrender. I'm asking about the news, bro. Yeah. Don't bring it to like, a deep place. You're wearing a don't you're wearing it. a white shirt. That's like what about that's the it? flag of surrender. You know, when, when people want to surrender, they throw up the white flag. So you are a walking surrender right now. You are a walking surrender. Got a diss or? Take it as you will. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the In the Fire podcast. The <sighs> <laughs> people listening through only the audio game, like, yo, these guys don't want to do this. this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah. what's up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast. We appreciate you guys tuning in, whether you're listening on Spotify, since you're watching us on YouTube. We love you. We appreciate you. Check out the TikTok, check out the YouTube shorts. What and you, most importantly, what do they have to check out? Tell them, Lewis. Check out the Patreon. For real. Link in bio, right? Link in bio. Most link definitely. in every bio. Link in every bio. Every bio. Check the Instagram. Yeah. Check the TikTok. We have a Patreon. Yes, we do. Join it. It's awesome. Strongest Christian community, community in the world. Yes, sir. You got. Don't forget the flex. Don't forget the flex either. Join it. But check it out. It's a fire community. Awesome so make perks. sure to check that out. And also love you guys that are already on it. Feel facts. Much love. We appreciate you guys. Um, today, surrendering, surrendering. What does that even mean? What does that even look like? Why do I have to care about that? Why do I have to care about surrendering to God? Mm. What's the point of it? What is the point of it? Why can't I just do things my, myself? <clears throat> why, why can't I just do things the way I want to do them? And how, and how much do you know? Why do you think? You, I think you I know, know a lot. Well, you're Don't sadly I? mistaken. I'm sad. Oh. You really think you know that much? Well, because think about it, if you're not surrendering, right, you're basically saying that you know better than God, right? That what you think is best is best, like plainly, period. Okay. And how much do you really know if you've been on this earth for? Yeah, but don't, but don't, don't we, don't we try to do things our own way all the time? Yeah, hundred percent. And how, how does that turn out? You know, absolutely, absolutely ter- <laughs> terrible. It never yeah, works no, no, because um, we're we are in the sinful nature and we do things yeah. just because we want to do them, and yeah. then we do that and we we live by our feelings and our emotions and our desires without restriction because that's how we are, right? The mm. the heart is deceitful; it wants what it wants, right? And we let that control our lives. We're doomed. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing whatever we want to do without restriction. Yeah, we're gonna plateau. Uh, I think. I think. Um. <laughs> I think we get humbled very quickly. Yes. I think um, even as as followers of Jesus, I think I, we find ourselves a lot, at least for me, I find myself a lot, I, I don't want to say acci- maybe accidentally taking things into my own hands mm. and trying to figure things out on by myself, <laughs> trying to understand things by myself, trying to work things out by myself. And, and it, it, it becomes incredibly frustrating because... You're right. I know absolutely nothing. Mm. I know absolutely nothing. I have no idea where I'm going and how to get there. And so it's like as if I was trying my absolute best, <clears throat> sweating, crying, yeah. uh, crawling, doing everything possible to get to my destination, but I have no idea where I'm going. Mm. Crazy. And so at one point, you kind of just give up. You're just like, Uh, you just laid down and you're just like, I can't do this anymore. I feel like I've been doing this for so long and I don't understand why things are not going my way. And that is the moment where people turn to God. That is the moment where people are like, you know what, God? I think think, I'm going to give you a chance. I I think God, I I can't do this. I think it's time for you to (laughs) help me out. Mm. And then when you actually surrender that control, is when is is when you see that breakthrough when you see blessing and, and, you yeah. see healing yeah yeah and, and you see god point you in the direction that he's been wanting you to go to mm. um but just like the israelites we we try to take just things into our own hands once again go back to the we like stuff. god 
I, I think it's like, all right, so God, God's like, all right, fine. You're surrendering control. Yeah. It's that way. Turn around. You've been going wrong the wrong way the whole time. But I want to go this way. But God. But God. That doesn't make any sense. I, I, that, that, I don't see that, but I see this. And then God's like, but you just told me I can take control. And you you're just said like, you had a lot of faith. Dang. You didn't have to say that. <laughs> right? that was deep. That was deep. Nah, but when we think about surrendering, right? Like, what do we? What do I think about when I think about surrender? You think about like, you know, somebody I don't know held at gunpoint, and it's like, right. I surrender, I surrender, right? We always we. It's in the context of force. Right? Like, mm. I'm a, if if I'm gonna keep hurting you if you don't surrender, right? And so you, when we think about surrender, God, it's like, oh, I guess I have to. Like, oh my gosh, or else, like, you know mm. what I mean? It's like, what what kind of surrendering are we talking about here, right? Like when we talk, when we say surrender, what we what we're talking about is a an intentional decision. Right, it's a willful decision, saying mm-hmm. like, "All right, it, it's almost it's it, it's in, um it's interchangeable with submission, because mm. submission is a choice. Same thing with surrender. It's not like guns holding a gun. God is holding a gun to your head, but it's like a decision. I'm gonna put myself, my ideas, my thoughts, my will mm. under your control on my by my choice. Like by my choice, I'm right. putting everything that I do think about, a say, under your control, and I'm surrendering to you, God. Basically saying." I no longer have control. But that sentence scares people, right? Mm. Nobody wants to, like, nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to. And I feel like for some people, I think it's easier. But something I learned that really interested me that I don't, I haven't gone through, but I know it and I want to say it because I feel like there's some substance to it. There's some significance to it. Is that, you know, a lot of people, I don't think everybody, but a lot of people struggle with this kind of um, giving control to God because in the past, when the people had the the power to make a decision for them, they weren't. They never wow. made the right decision for them, right? It's okay. like there's no there's no um proof that people cared enough to make the right decision for them, right? Mm. When when they had that position or that power, so I now agree. and like that's yeah. what that's why trust issues are a thing, mm. right? Because oh, I trust they said this thing, but they they did this to me. Right, so that's oh. why trust issues are a real thing. That's why when we're talking about giving control, we don't want to do that because some people have seen in the past that they don't, people don't make the best right. decisions for them. So when it comes to God, they're like, wow. I don't want to do that. And again, that's something I've learned that I feel like sharing would bring some significance because mm. I feel like some people will relate to that, right? Where it's like, yeah, I hundred percent because it's like, yeah, it's like it just makes sense. But but then how do we counteract that too? You know, that's kind of what we have right. to think about. Right. No, that that's. That's deep. Yeah. That's deep because it, it goes back to childhood. Yeah. It goes back to childhood. It goes Everything. back to, <clears throat> to all of that. And but I think I think also I think everybody struggles with surrendering control. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Because it's kind of saying it's kind of saying, okay. Yes, that's what we want. We want to say, God, you know best. God, yeah. you know better. You know me better. You know what's best. But for me to really release that and be like somebody else knows better for me than me Mm. and that's hard that's hard because it's like i know you're not god but it's like saying okay like lewis you take control for my life decisions i could never do that (laughs) (laughs) i'd be like i'm sorry lewis like no you clearly don't know what's best for me you don't as much as you love me and you want what's best for me I, don't I, I could I could never fully give you yeah. control. Yeah. I could never. Yeah. But and, and so we struggle with that with God because it's like we're we're giving ourselves up. We're literally putting our will aside. Right. Which is crazy. It's mm. like, but I, I want to do this, but surrendering is literally putting your own desires and wills yeah. and putting it to the side and, and yeah. saying, God, whatever your will is, I want that. Mm. But then so many times we have trouble with that right because we want what we want of course we want what we want but also his will doesn't really look appealing a lot oh uh, tell me about right <laughs> bro god uh, it doesn't bro, look it's, it's not it doesn't look appealing and it, it just isn't like, bro, we don't, he has to do that on purpose <laughs> there, there's no way there's no way god is like I feel like he's messing with us sometimes bro I'm not even lying I mean to if you. Anything, I, I, <laughs> it's making the hard decisions which if, when we get used to that, it just builds our character. A hundred. Right? Oh my gosh. Just to be yeah. like, even though that looks so unappealing, I'm going to do it. And then we see time and time again, testimony mm. after testimony, that that is the blessed move. That is the blessed action. Yeah. We see that all the time. But it's just, it's just, it's so hard to actually do it. 
right? It's, right. it's funny because I was even thinking today at work, which is funny that we, you're talking about that. Like we say, and it's like, man, I don't know how I was, I was thinking about like words are cheap. Words are so cheap. What do you mean by that? Bro, you, you can say anything. You could say, I'm not, I'm surrendering, I'm surrendering. He's like, bro, it's all about mm. action, you know? Like, And again, our, our desire could be there. Our desire could be there. You're right. But what matters is the action. Like, you know, how, okay, th- that brings another question. So we understand, like, sur- surrendering isn't like a, how like I'm put, oh, if I don't surrender, I'm going to get hurt. No, it's like right. a willful decision that <clears throat> even though I want to do this, I'm going to do what you want to do. Right. Right. And that's like, we, we, we find that in scripture, like, when it, in terms of how we live, right? Ten Commandments, whatever, or what, what Jesus says about us to, to, to right. live this certain way, right? To forgive, to do this. We don't want to do that. Mm. Who wants to forgive somebody, right? And just like my pastor said, like, you don't know what forgiving somebody really lo- really feels like until you actually have to forgive somebody, right? Mm. And so that is like where you have to surrender. That That is one example right. I feel of like surrendering. It's like, I don't want to forgive. Why would I? But like God is commanding me. God is calling me to forgive. And yes, that looks unappealing, but we know that that brings healing and right. freedom from bitterness, right? So it's like, yeah. <clears throat> that's just one example of surrendering. And again, how do we do it? doing like acting it like straight up like you only learn by doing what do you mean by that because um so so a way i a way i see it Mm. to describe what you were just talking about in a different in a different light is sometimes surrendering feels like giving up but in reality surrendering control to god is letting god so it's surrendering control doesn't mean giving up but it means letting god Mm. right because uh, ju- with the same description I was given before is we're crawling, we're running, yeah. we're, we're doing everything we can, sweat, tears, blood, all of it. So we get to a point where we can't make it. And it feels like giving up. It feels like I've tried everything, so I just have to give up. So it feels like surrendering control means giving up. Like, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. Mm. But it's not. It, what it is is it's letting God. Relinquishing control. Exactly, which, which is something like, First of all, God let you go through go through that. He let you try your best mm. just just so you can see that you need to lean on him. You need to rely on him. Mm. But you weren't supposed to go through all that. Simply you were supposed to surrender that control to God from the beginning. Mm. You weren't supposed to go through the blood and the sweat and the tears, mm. but God's like, "I will let you do that and so God that you can grow too. and you can learn it and, mm. and God will still use that for his benefit." Mm. Or or for your benefit too. But we need to remember that surrendering control doesn't mean giving up. Surrendering control means letting God. It's mm-hmm. letting God take control. Letting God take the wheel and, and the keys and the whole car and the pedals. Right? Mm-hmm. And, and so, okay, because here's the thing. A lot of times, and this is a point I wanted to get to. We cannot surrender control in parts. Mm-hmm. God doesn't work like that. God's not, God doesn't work with it. I'll, I'll surrender control when, when, when this happens or when that happens or when I get this, when I, I'll surrender control God when everything goes to crap and, and I have nothing to, to do left except turn to you. And sometimes, unfortunately, we get to that point. Like we're kind of saying like, yeah, sure. I'll, maybe I'll stop doing this, mm. but that, sorry. I right. Can't, I can't let go of that basically. I, exactly. Like, exactly. For, so it's like. We need to, when we, when we say, okay, how do you surrender control? Surrendering control is giving God your thoughts, your emotions, your your hands, your mouth, your ears, everything. As God, here is my body. Here is my thoughts. Here is my soul. Here is my spirit. Here is my everything. I don't want to think about this anymore. I don't want to be anxious about this anymore. I don't want to fear about this anymore. God, I trust in your promises. Here is control. And it's not giving up. It's not laying down in your bed and doing nothing. But mm. what it is, is saying, okay, God, I'm going to focus on you because you are the one that's going to get me to that destination. I'm going to let you lead me instead of me lead myself. Exactly. I don't know where I'm leading myself. Exactly. Because sometimes what happens is we say, God, here's the keys. You control the wheel. I'll control the pedals. Mm. And then or, I'm... Or, or like it's looking really bad. Give me, the, give me back the wheel. Mm. Bro, first of all, I hate when people do that. If I'm driving and somebody touches the wheel... Uh, I'm stopping. I'm pulling over. I'm unlocking the doors, and I'm telling you to get out. Mm. Do not touch the wheel while I'm driving. N- note that, guys. And I'm sure God feels the same way. Mm. God's driving, and some of you are like, "God, you're going no, the wrong God. way." No, and God's no, looking God. at you like, "Did you just? Did you just tell me I'm going the wrong way?" <laughs> and you just 
like jerk the wheel to the right no we were supposed to go left mm, where is your faith where is your faith and 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 so we want to get to a point where we can well, what do they call it nice. <laughs> chill <laughs> we need, we need to get to a we need to get to a point where we're sitting in the passenger seat of the car and, and we're letting God drive. Mm. We're we're touching the radio, we're messing with the radio, we're putting the music, and we're letting God do his thing. Cause because here's the thing. Here's the <coughs> thing. If you say, Okay, God, I will control the wheel, you do the pedals, you still have no idea where you're going. Mm. And then if you give God the, the wheel and you take the pedals, you're going to pass the stop signs. You're going to get into a crash. You're going to pass the red lights. You're going to get a ticket. Mm. You're going to get pulled over. You're going to have no money. You're going to, and you're going to delay absolutely everything. Wow. You cannot give God parts of the car. Can you, you really um, surrender partially? Can you really give submission partially? Because then you're not like, because imagine like a king, like, oh, I do only for you, king. Like, I, I only submit to you, king. And it's like, can you partially submit to somebody? Because in reality, then you're mm. not. You're, you're being unloyal, if anything. You're undivided. You're divided, right? So That's you, true. I don't think partial submission is a thing. Okay. I don't think so, right? That just, makes just, sense. Just, just a thought. Just a thought. No, it is. I mean, that, that's a good point but, because... But, 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 oh, if you want to go. What? No, because back to what you were saying, like, um, when it comes to, like, giving God the wheel, honestly, it's a faith thing, mm. right? Because so many times with Jesus, where is your faith? Why do you have so little faith? It's a mm. faith thing. Right, having faith is you know believing in in like the unseen, the substance of the substance of things hoped for. Right, like right. faith is like I don't see it, but I'm gonna see it. Mm. Right, or faith is like I don't know, but I do know. Right, like I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. I don't, but whatever is gonna happen is whatever God wants to happen. And if it's if it's what God wants to happen, then it's the best. Right, right. So I feel like it's it's a faith thing. Absolutely, do you have faith to surrender? And believe that God knows best because he does. But it's hard to, to act that out in faith, right? Because that, that's where the faith is tested. But I feel like it's, just, it's a faith thing. A hundred percent a faith thing, right? I, I just, see, I, I just like to put myself in, in, I guess in my own shoes because we yeah. all go through it, right? Yeah. But what makes surrendering control so difficult for me is, is what you talked about before about how God's thing is very unappealing. <laughs> And so for me, it's, I want to do this. I want to go this way. This is what I want, God. And God's like, no. No, you don't want that. Mm. And you're like, no, God, but I do I want do that. Want that. <laughs> and God's like, huh. do you trust me? And so just imagine God asking you that in that moment, in this moment right now. That Think about that one thing that you cannot you're just like you've been holding on to you've been anxious about you've been trying to control you've been trying to take care of and nothing is working think about that one thing and god is asking you do you trust me mm. do you trust wow. me to get you to the destination that you really need and wow. really want safely and as fast as possible because i have the gps i am the gps Wow. You've been going the wrong way the whole time. And if you don't give me control, either you'll never get to that destination or you're going to take forever. Mm. And so God's like, do you trust me? Do you trust? Because I'm telling you, some of you guys on your way to destinations, you turn on that GPS and you don't doubt it. If you're anything like me, you don't doubt it. You take every single turn that the GPS tells you to take. Mm. And if God is saying, I am your GPS, do you trust me? Do you trust me? Do you trust me to take you and get you to where you need to get to? Mm. And for us, that's really hard. And, and, and on the way to the, yeah, we give God control. And then we're like, you know what, God? Can I have it back? And God's just that beautiful, loving father that's like, sure, take it back. Go ahead. You want to try again? Okay. And we do. And we do that all the time. We do. No, we do. We, we do, do that all the time. And, and, and sometimes... And God is that compassionate and that loving that he'll be driving and I'll grab the steering wheel and he'll gently grab my arm and be like, no, remember you're surrendering control. And it's like, oh, sorry, God, my bad. God's like, play play uh, your favorite playlist. Just jam. Just watch the sunset go down while I drive. And, and you could just relax. Hmm. 
right? You you don't have to be focusing on the road. You don't have to see like what lanes you have to take. You don't have to worry about what direction you have to go to because you're just the passenger now. Wow. You're just letting God stroll. You're just letting God drive. And when you do that, what happens? You're in peace. Wow. Why, why do passengers that sit in the front, by the way, if you fall asleep while you're a passenger, like shame on you. I'm sorry. <laughs> like if, if you're going on a long drive and you fall asleep, the driver is going to want to fall asleep too. Don't do that. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> but what I'm getting okay. at is, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just this episode is all about like my si- driving. Little, little side driving t- my- <laughs> tips. Like yes. what, like episode, my bad. Uh, Surrender control to God. Also, also side tips on yeah. driving. That's the title of this episode. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah it should be. But fantastic. when you, when you fully trust your driver, you're in peace. Yeah. You're relaxed. You're not worrying about anything. You're else. not worrying about anything. And so wouldn't we want to live our life like that? Mm. Wouldn't we want to live our life in total peace knowing God's got me? Mm. There's been countless times in my faith journey where all I hear God say, and I'm anxious and I'm, I'm worrying and I'm like, God, I need you. God, what do I do? God this, God that. And all I hear is, I've got you. I've mm. got you. Or, remember, peace isn't an absence of a yeah. storm it's peace in the storm right that's what true peace is because god is faithful and loving I, I hear those various words i've got this or let go say let go of the wheel let me drive mm. let me drive let me do this mm. right yeah even even the initial decision of, of of following jesus is a whole big surrender because yeah. you're surrendering your whole like i i don't know this i need you god and you're surrendering mm. your will like your your life to him Right, like it's it's a whole. Even the initial decision is is a surrendering right. thing. Sur- surrender. Right. Um, I have a very nice proverbs. Proverbs three five to six. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Yes, in all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make your paths straight. It's perfect for what we have just talked about. Perfect. In all it's your perfect. ways, acknowledge Him. Yeah. In all. What are things in your life that you are not acknowledging him in? Mm. What are things that you still, you're just like, God, here's control over this. Here's control over that. But this. Are you bringing him into your decisions? Right. Right. When you make those big decisions, are you seeking his mm. guidance? Right. Or are you just doing it just because you think it's like, no, like, like, bring, like you said, bring God into all of it, yeah. into every part of your life, into the decisions you make, like right. bring him into it. Ask him like for that guidance pray for fast for it Mm. for big decisions fast for these things like show god you want his guidance right right and 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 this verse speaks to me because it's do not lean on your own understanding it is simply a reminder that you have zero clue where you're going Mm. it's it's simply a reminder that it's like okay i need to lean on him in everything that i do and when i say when i think if i ever think god i've got this you can step aside hold on red light red flag stop sign everything if you're putting god to the side and you're leaning on your own understanding and this is different than having wisdom and discernment i was about to say that yeah this is different yeah i'm saying when you put god to the side and you say god i've got this you're you're gonna regret that yeah because i was about to say it's it's something we're we're all just we're just saying like we're all dummies never make a decision right we we have wisdom god gave us wisdom to make our own decisions to do things like that but we're talking about like you know a life fully surrendered Mm -hmm. you know you have wisdom you have discernment you have your own thoughts you can make decisions but like surrender to god right is god first is god driving the car or is Mm -hmm. he in the back seat in the trunk right yeah I, i i agree i agree with what you just said because here's the thing like what i think this episode and we and we don't want to confuse anybody right yeah yeah because surrendering control once again does not mean you're sitting down and doing nothing i i i guess we could have been a little bit confusing with being a passenger and yeah, doing yeah. nothing right but but here's what here uh, we'll, we'll clarify it we'll, we'll clarify it because here's the thing god has given us wisdom yes and discernment to make our our decisions and to to be in life so that way we don't have to be like god should i eat this popeye's chicken sandwich right now and god's like I've, I've given you enough discernment to know that you probably god, should I put this t-shirt or this pants are like bro it, it, you, it, you can make you can, yeah, you can put yeah that's what i'm saying and, and so what it is is when we say surrender control what we mean is especially in your mind 
and your emotions. If there is something that is haunting your day where your you will. are, your mind is running. And let me tell you, me and Lewis are professionals at this. We are professionals at our mind absolute running and our emotions are going crazy. And we're like, God, what do we do? How do we do this? Why do we do this? When, why, how? And we're asking every single question over and over and over again. And we're praying on it and we're fasting on it. And we're like, what do we do? And the simple answer is surrender. The simple answer is, I've got you. What you're worrying, why are you bugging? Why are you bugging? I I already told you I was going to take care of this. Why are you bugging? Mm. Right? And and so when when we say surrendering control is is especially about things in the the future. That that is a a, a big thing is, okay, if we're stressing about what's to come, God is saying, chillax. Mm. I've got it. I've got you. I'm going to handle this. And, and so once again, let's let's put the example of you're you're looking for a new job, yeah, and you're stressing, and you're like, okay, God, how do I do this? When am I going to do this? I'm running out of money. How do I yeah. surrender and control in that situation? Is you know what, God, I trust that you're going to provide for me. Your word says that you provide for for even the the sparrows, the mm-hmm. birds. How much more will you provide as for me? As long as I'm being wise and doing the exactly. best I can, like doing what I think is best for myself, exactly. making the wise decisions, and bringing you into all of it. There's, there is exactly, there's no need for me to be anxious and worry mm. and stressed yeah. because I know that you've got me. Mm. That doesn't mean I'm going to sit at home and not apply to a single job. It's not going to fly yeah. in. Your, your opportunity is not going to fly in. So surrendering control is I'm not going to do anything. That's not what it is. Surrendering control is I'm, I'm going to surrender. I'm going to, huh? I'm a move, but like I'm bringing you into what I'm doing. Like I'm making you like, first. I'm you've got to get into the car, right? Mm. I guess that that's the analogy is we still need to get into the car. Yeah. Right? We still need to get into the car because some of you are like, okay, I'm going to start under control, but I'm not going to get in the car. It's like, well, how are you going to get to the destination? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so um, for, for, for me and you especially, I think the, the reason we or, or the way we've learned about surrendering control has been in the promises he's made us for the future and we just bug out and we're like, God, we want it at our time. We want it our yeah. way. And God's like, hold on. My timing is My perfect. My timing is perfect. I know. <laughs> Bro, that, that phase is, is I, I felt it so much because I, I get annoyed at hearing that now. It's like, <laughs> dude, just relax. God's got you. His, his, timing. his timing is perfect. Thank you, bro. God, your timing, with all due respect, God. With all due respect, God, one day, a thousand years to you, and a thousand years <laughs> one day. <laughs> what? You're taking too long, God. You're taking too long. But but we've we've learned the hard way yeah. about surrendering control, and we're still learning it. We are still learning it. We are in the middle of it. And and I wish we can sit here and tell you our whole life story and all of our problems. I mean, we, we kind of do throughout every episode, but... yeah. We are in the middle of it. We are yeah. in the middle of learning to, okay, God, here is control. Yeah. Here's what I'm going through. Here's my sufferings, my thoughts, because our thoughts are crazy and, and they just run and run and run and run and to the point where we can't even sleep. It's like, God, you know why better. am I stressing? Yeah. Why am I stressing? You told me you've got this. I need to hand you the keys. I need to hand you everything. And it's, you know what, God? I'm laying it down. And I've heard, I heard this so much in a season where I was struggling so much. All I heard was lay it at the altar. Mm. And for me, it was like, what does that mean? You know, and, and like you said, the empty words. I would just say, I'm like, all right, God, I'm laying it at the altar. Here it is. And I'd go home and I'd go just bug out. And mm. I would I'd start thinking and thinking and thinking. Did I really lay it at the altar? And so what is it that you need to lay at the altar? What is it that you need to surrender control of? We need to stop being control freaks, trying to control everything and every aspect yeah. of our life and saying, you know what, God? Here it is. Here's control. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll, sh- I'll share a verse too, Luke. I was going to share earlier, but um, I think it's just it's a good verse to, to talk yeah. about this. Luke 9, 20 through to 24. It says, then he said to them all, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow mm. me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will save it. Surrender your life, and that's where you'll find it. Wow. Mad weird, right? Surrender your life, and then you'll find it. Mm. But try to keep it, and you'll lose it. 
I, I think I think a really good example of of all this is um, Abraham and Sarai. Mm. I I I thought this story was very interesting to me with this whole surrendering control because um, basically they they really want children. Yeah, they want a son. Yeah, they want a son really really bad. And God's like, you'll get it. I got I, you. I will get you a son. You will have a son. And they go, yes, woohoo, let's go. <laughs> yep. One year goes by. All that time. Two years goes by. All that time. Abraham's checking his watch like, yo, it's been a while. And then, isn't it like they come back, God comes back like, oh, by this time next year. And I feel like everyone's like, bro. <laughs> Everybody's like, dude, are you serious? Dude, like, cause I'm pretty sure that's what happens. I like, think, correct me if I'm wrong, that they go, like, you know, go, guy goes back, and then he's like, okay, like this time next year, you'll definitely have a son. Did he do that? Pretty sure. I don't we'll know if back. he we'll did that. Back. No, like, I'm, he said like by this time next year you will have you will have a child. Yeah, he did. Okay, say, he did say that. But I'm pretty. I think. Are you sure? Yeah. Really? By this time next year. You will have your son. You will have a child. No, I want you to fact check that live I on this should, episode. Should, yeah, there is. Yeah, no you're right. Way. You're right. You're right. No, he did. He did. I want you to fact check that right now. But what I find interesting about this story, while while Lewis fact checks that, <laughs> um, is God says, "Okay, I'm going to give you a son," and so much time goes by. Put yourself in their shoes for a second. God promised you something that you really, really, really wanted. Let's say it's a relationship. Let's say a lot of you guys are like, I want a relationship. And God's like, I will get you a relationship. And then and then a bunch of time goes by and you're like, uh, God, where are you at? And then you just take matters into your own hands and you find somebody and then everything goes wrong. That's exactly what happened with Abraham. Abraham was like, God was like, yo, I'm going to give you a son. And then Abraham's like, Abraham's wife's like, you know what? God is taking too long. How about you sleep with our servant and you have a kid with him, with her? And so then uh, from there, centuries later, this causes a massive mess, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And so that's just to show that when we take things into our own hands, bad things happen. And we need to trust in God's time. God is still faithful. Absolutely. God is still faithful. Absolutely. They got Isaac too. Yeah. But I, I still want to find out if you uh, fact check that. Yeah, well, because... my, my phone died. But I did fact check it. If yeah. There's two verses in Genesis where God says, by this time next year, next year you'll have a son. And then it says that some time passes. I don't know how much time that is, but some time passes. He comes back with the three, the three people, mm. right? And they say the same thing. By this time this year, you'll have a son. Dang. No, by, by this time next year. So he was saying it, but I'm pretty sure that was after they had Ishmael. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, God is still faithful. Yeah. God is still faithful. Is tough, but that is what surrendering control looks like. Yeah. God, I trust your timing. God, I, trust I trust your trust timing. You I put my will, my desires to the side. I put you mm. in all I do. I don't lean on my own understanding, but I bring you into every single thing mm. I do and I want your guidance. I want your leadership and I live for you. I live for you. I surrender my life. I, I don't save my life. I lose it mm. to gain it. Wow, I like that. But we appreciate you guys tuning in. Whether you're listening Thank on Spotify, you. watching yep. us on YouTube, I always do. I did that already. Um, I love you guys, and we'll see you guys for the next <laughs> episode. Peace out, everybody. Peace. <laughs>